So adding mobile compatibility, it's our concern now. And after that, we have to see. Uh, I, I also want to add one more search bar so that uh, user could go through the index TV items and search relevant information. So the the main purpose of having an index TV or something to do with the DB system uh, to have uh, the contents shorted, filtered based on certain criteria. So I assume I want to list the users uh, having uh, subject as English or math alone I want to have a filter option to be added so that I can filter it. So is there any way in index TV that also we will see? And uh, of course we will add the mobile compatibility, the a small concept, uh, how we do that directly in CSS instead of uh, having jQuery modifying the DOM and uh, spread the content based on the window size. I will just finish the easiest part. I can dynamically define um, certain values in CSS as well mean I can define rules in CSS uh, especially CSS3 has that support for example that always start with the upgrade media based on the media size or based on the media type I can define certain rule a condition I assume it's like uh, you can imagine it is uh, it is like a if condition so if condition used in CSS something like that it always start with upgrade media say you want to have a different uh, CSS for print for example when the user try to print the particular page using a computer option there will be option to print right clicking print option be available there you don't want to let the user copy uh, I mean print the same document what you have designed in HTML you want to have something different for a print you can define those attributes here by defining media print so if the user try to print the content he will get some different design and this is the default one screen I mean computer screen so you can define two different uh, uh, CSS rule for specific to a media if the particular thing is for computer or computer screen you can use this condition otherwise print and also you can have some other user defined uh, conditions uh, that's what I'm going to explain because screen print I'm not going to see it and I'm probably I'm not going to use much I can define say when minimum width is some 400 pixel so if a width is 400 pixel you have to follow this rule that's what I'm going to say say let me put input this is a whatever you defined outside it is a default one it will check the window size if it is uh, the minimum width of the window is 300 400 pixel 400 pixel uh, slightly a kind of a tablet mode maybe no, no, not even it may come through a, uh, maybe phone maybe a larger phone something like that so I'm defining certain condition I'm going to modify it going to make a label 100% you can even define percentage I purposely omitted the percentage because once I introduce the percentage everybody will start using the percentage nobody will mind about using the pixel because percentage is quite flexible by default because if you define 100% it is going to easily occupy the entire width uh, so you can even define in proportions so you can even uh, use a percentage but I would recommend everything to have hundred percent to give a, a responsive web only when needed otherwise we can very well skip it so I'm defining a rule when a minimum width is 400 pixel the label width is going to be hundred percent input mean that input text what I'm typing is also going to be hundred percent let's see what kind of difference this is outside this is a default rule if a condition does not meet this would be executed which is something uh, defined outside let me see I don't know already already it's okay it's not see if you look, notice at least I have an input width is uh, unmodified it's a smaller one it looks like 
uh, the input width is 250 pixel. Let me try to bring it down. A 400, I couldn't bring it. Make it something a larger size. 400 is very smaller. Executing the same one, let me test. Let me give a hard coded width and stuff. I'll give a condition min with us some 400 and max with some 700 pixel. It is between value. So if any changes happen, let me see. So much change here. have a table here that also I'll put it across maybe the table disturbing because the content size is not changing because of the table because the obvious reason table is slightly bigger so the content size is not changing so it's very hard for me to detect but when the table also will start retracting and this guy is somehow So I to change the order, have the default part defined. Yeah, here it works. If you notice, uh, everything perfectly adjust. If you notice the input text, it's a uh, full screen. It will work until I exceed the 700 pixel. Once the 700 pixel I exceeded, everything went back to default. So this is above 700 pixels, so the default size has been accepted. In this case, the default size is, uh, what is that, 250 pixel and table i don't give any value uh, for the table to spread across so whatever size of the content the table will be but when the window start retracting when it goes below 700 things will start adjusting so this is almost 700 and it is going to get reduced 
and the content automatically that particular input text extended to the entire width and the table also somehow adjusted and as I retract everything automatically get adjusted and completely gives me a, a mobile look. If you notice I don't have a horizontal scroll bar because the content based on the content the size is being given. So it's pretty easy uh, in uh, CSS itself I can define the rules based on my conditions whatever it is required. I don't need to do the JavaScripting part. In fact CSS is doing the JavaScript part also. We already saw that how things work. Of course, CSS3 dynamically executing the, I mean, this kind of conditional one will reproduce additional uh, CSS and it will do some sort of DOM manipulation, uh, DOM manipulation and try to adjust the width if the rule has been defined. Uh, so, one major fix we have to do, we have to make sure all the default values loaded first and then the conditional values. In fact, that was not working because of the reason. So, this rule will be applicable when the device width is between 400 to 700. In fact, uh, I could have, I can even remove this particular one totally because minimum and uh, max width is 700. I can directly give that. So, that should work still. Make sure you give it within the quotation. But I just want to tell there is a conditional thing is also acceptable and and operator is acceptable. So when the device screen changes, a particular rule will be applicable. You can have some sort of width and height and even colors also. For example, table header, I want to have a different color. I want to have a different color for this width. Let me change something. So this is the default one when mobile view goes, this gets changed. So, we don't need to do much on the JavaScript side, CSS itself can do that particular part. So like that you can play around with that and see various options, define different rules and depending on the condition uh, things will be accepted. Okay, so not this is a major concern for us and we have to see the index DVR also a little bit we I want to add a search bar here so that I can go through the content and search a specific content or uh, a couple of other data okay I may need to modify a little so before adding the data remember this all block uh, request to open the index DB and giving the version and if the index DB already existing it will simply give access to the DB otherwise the index DB is not there it will create the DB create the necessary object store or so called tables first and then give access to your DB so this is what we did yesterday and we know how to add the content now so every time I need to get access to a transaction object through the DB instance that transaction object should contain the tables or object store what all the object stores you are kept I mean you are going to do a transaction with if you have more than one object store define it in a square bracket otherwise you can directly also define but I kept it square bracket because I just want to tell you you can have more than one object store in a given database but in this case only one object store we have the second uh, object is a specific table or specific object store get an instance of the specific object store in this case from the transaction you are telling this is the object store you are going to do a transaction with so make a request in this case I am making a request to add a new object and it adds the object and gives a callback to a request on success so this is what we did before that if a database is new we make sure 
the object store is created with the primary index defined as a key path and auto increment flag set to true. It means the item ID uh, an object with a key having item ID would be inserted and it will have a dynamic value as you insert the data. So if I try to add the student name and student subject I will also have one more ID automatically gets added which is called item ID which will have a automatically incremented value as I add the content. So that's give me a gives me an, uh, a unique option or uniqueness to my record and this is uh, getting all the name you can get a, a instance of a cursor mean you are expecting a result which is going to contain more than one data it is uh, recommended to use the open cursor uh, method and get the multiple data iterate over the cursor and get the results if you expect a specific a single record in this case I think one I had I commented that I hope so if you, if you want to get one specific record uh, you can use get property and that time you don't need to use the cursor the result will be directly coming as a even target result and of course delete update everything we have written now I'm going to slightly extend to accommodate uh, a search functionality so I can simply search the content or like a where class like if you want uh, if any uh, SQLite or sorry not SQLite any standard query language is going to be a conditional uh, class that's going to be select start from where item name equal to apple or something like that so that particular where I'm trying to have it on board where like those are additional conditional parameters you can add so that part I'm trying to add let me do a slow modification to the UI <laughs> I'll add a search bar I'm going to go through the subject alone so because subject may be having a duplicate value it will be easy for me to searching a specific subject make sure so the search bar is there if I say math mean only the user who is having the value or uh, item subject as mathematics should be displayed so that's the requirement I'm going to do a considerable change in my DB so I'm going to create a new DB by changing the name renaming it it will automatically clear all the existing naturally it is going to create a new database so it will be creating from the scratch now I need to inform the object store I'm going to use at certain search conditions or I need to define some index where the particular key could be used as a search term that I have to do a little modification here I need to get instance of the object store this will give you instance of an object store create index tell in this one of uh, additional already item id is an indexed one because that could be used for indexing purpose I'm, i want to add one more index it is not actually a primary key or something like that but it can be used for conditional uh, i mean uh, flag so i'm going to say student subject is going to be could be used as a <coughs> search flag a search term and actually this is where you are going to define the term this is just a name of the search flag but for safer side uh, you can even give just say as subject so for your understanding purpose so where the subject equal to something like that so that will in turn map to this particular key and try to do the searching but for safer side not to get confused I'm going to give the both same and the final one's uh, optional flag I can say unique if you want to avoid the duplicate entries you can say the uniqueness to true for example when you register the user uh, where the user is going to have a username and password the username should be unique in that case there should not be a duplicate 
uh, username should be created if the user tried to register. In that case, you can set the unique uh, flag to true. Otherwise, the duplicate is accepted. No problem. You can set to false. Of course, I am going to have a subject, same subject. There are a couple of students going to have the same subject, so I need to set it for fa false. So I'm informing while I create the object store in that one of a, a additional field apart from the keypad item ID, this stu subject is also a, a search string or it is it could be used as a search term. So I've just informed. So I'll just run the code. I have a couple of records added so that we can use it for testing. Apart from that, I want to see, okay, it still works, looks nice for mobile view. Okay. So, I need to type something as I type, say, if I type tunnel, I should see the specific record and it should only display the records which is having the term. So, but there are a couple of uh, options are there, but one being I write the method okay so let me define an id for this is already there right And do some test whether my strings are received as I get. So I'm going to define a HTML event. I'm going to call an HTML event uh, called like on click. There is one more thing we already saw that I remember on key up I mean as I type once I finish typing when I keep my keyboard. Uh, key up mean I finish typing it will execute this method and have the console open say if you notice every hit counts because when a user press it won't execute but once you release the keyboard it will start to work so the key up mean once you release the keyboard that detects the event and send it to a JavaScript. So as I type, it will be simply detecting everything. So that could be used for searching my content. So I think here. Okay. So here let me start doing the index db stuff so var transaction object needed then i'm doing it to do a transaction transaction so what are all the object store you want to get access to so i have one object store called name tbl object store it's equivalent to table so if you really want to coordinate everything with this uh, standard query language terminology mean you can say uh, I'm trying to do a transaction with the table. Uh, I'm I probably need just read only permission because I'm not going to manipulate everything. I'm just trying to filter the content, existing content. Instance of the object store, in just instance of the table. 
which you are going to do the transaction with that is specific one which is in this case okay. in this case I'm going to do one more thing I'm going to get an index of the specific object store yes for example when it is nothing but select start from where subject equal to something what I am entering equal uh, it has to match exactly so when I type physics it will come here physics then it will get the list of items which is having uh, items specific to physics alone we'll see that what kind of result I'm going to get I'm going to make a request from this index sorry it's already made a request sorry this should be the tag name because which search term I'm going to use that I need to tell that's what I was even missing it this one so I'm going to search in a specific index called stu subject because whatever is entering it is something to do with subject so that I chances are there I may have more than one value so we're going to make a request index open cursor specific index being added previously I simply use the object store directly retrieve which will retrieve all the data in this case I'm going to search in a specific index I'm making a request to open the cursor when the request goes success event I may have a multiple data so a cursor even target result we we'll simply see the output in console first then we'll decide what kind of output it is coming cursor value because it is going to have one more object called value in that only it is going to print or it's going to contain the result if you notice the previous one from the cursor the specific item ID and all those things are there so we have to make sure that only we will get it but I'm not going to iterate over I'm going to see what is the cursor actually contains so after that I'll decide whether to display in UI or not okay it's fine open cursor you see open cursor I yet to pass the argument here yes okay need access to the document I always prefer to see the official document instead of this all extra extra stuff as of now the Mozilla foundation is working on index DB so I would prefer to use their document before getting into others 
back of wall on is there IDB key range lower bound upper bound see there are couple of other options they have given db transaction object store this official document slightly redundant but uh, will give you their expected values Like something what we expect. Get <laughs> eh. even suspecting whether it is a cursor or not so further I would like to see what kind of data type I am getting so DB transaction index so I am going to do a search in a specific index called stu search and from that index I am going to search for a keyword called whatever the user has just typed and in that if I have any result it is going to give me a value I am going to type in the console only here Index is not create. Yep, done. Mm, page not refreshed. Let me recreate the database. I'm going to suspect you over here. I think it was not refreshing. Let me 
add one more content. If I have a couple of contents here, I am going to type undefined mean there is no record, but when I type the exact word, I am getting the result. In this case, uh, the student's object is having the value Tamil, so in this case it is retrieving your object. So it is actually doing select start from. Uh, so select start from uh, the particular table where item subject equal to thumb. So it's an equal uh, statement. It is a work class, but it is giving you a equal operator main. If you have a proportional value, nothing will work. You have to exactly type, then the content will find the specific result. It may be useful if you want to get a singleton result where you want to check, for example, where. Uh, the input value like uh, username equal to this one and password is equal to that one mean if you want to match that particular condition you can use this particular statement to get the result but in this case this may not be quite helpful for me because I am expecting a multiple result I am going to need some sort of other help So this is equal in to select where I mean just I use that one so maybe you can use the subject whatever value. So this particular block works exactly when the string matches to the right value. It gives me a result. But this is not something what I am expecting. I won't have a content filtered out. For example, I have another user. To Tamil is there. If you notice only one result is coming but whereas the subject is having two result so I want to use a cursor to retrieve the specific or more than one value so in that case whether it is going to be helpful it may not for that I may need a cursor to do the job in fact that also will work text db key range is an object which uh, is still in a draft mode but this uh, range mean a kind of a condition you can give from starting from to end bound yes order uh, that's also we forgot to see if you want to display in a uh, descending order you can give previous or you want to give an ascending order you can give next so the order will be adjusted accordingly and we, we could have done that I think here also we can do that there is no bounding so I can keep null I can give an order here order will be adjusted in this case the index is going to be um, let's see what kind of index it is following it's a descending order where the index is right now is item ID so 4321 it is putting in a reverse order it's a ascending order if you want to have an order can give in this way 
but whereas here I'm going to use the index based on stu sub so let me see I made it as a cursor of the problem is coming. This is a regular expression mean starting letter could be whatever you have typed end letter could be anything. So I am giving a bound starting letter for example if I have TA also it is ok because it is starting letter of a Tamil. So that condition I am trying to give but I am not sure whether to work let me see ADP key range. Works, works, works. If I type Tamil, I think it got one record alone still. Still an object. The one thing. put print the, all the cursor value because the cursor has to be iterated to get the values and a few lines Should I have one way? Copy all the line. Which will recreate the table. Make sure the table is empty. I don't need to depend on this so I can directly check on UI. Alright, filters. So if I type the specific topic, so physics alone, math alone. So as I type, the contents get filtered. But any it's quite uh, heavyweight because any even single type will be taken to query the table. Anyway, it works. The content gets filtered. Let me add a couple of contents. So, the typical this is a descending order uh, based on the item ID. Uh, the search term is going to be based on item subject the value will be 
descend in descending order so I'm going to type physics so only the physics specific records coming there's no chemistry I think yeah so math so I can do a specific type for example this is equivalent the one I just wrote this particular part which is equivalent to a query select star one instead of equal it is doing the like query this uh, percentage or placeholder mean I am going to only check the first two letter uh, the last one whatever value that is equivalent to this one it is uh, based off the regular expression means uh, a range is from the letters whatever you have typed to up to any combination after that you are not going to check whatever the combination it comes so any combination it comes so it is like uh, the class called like so this will execute this specific query and have a specific records alone taken out in fact I'll write the separate function for the simple search I'll move that particular block here for your reference you can though this will be very helpful to validate your user for example when the username password matches to a given condition because I needed a cursor because chances are there my query would give me uh, more than one result that's why I'm not using the equal operator here for your reference I'm going to keep this for testing purpose so this will give you only an object a single value only it will give if you use this particular query uh, if you are expecting a specific value uh, where or multiple occurrences possible I would recommend using the open cursor technique and define the condition and define the order and recreate your values so in this case the index DB will do the perfect search option so I'm going to go in search only the list which is having physics so okay start. if you see after I type something it is not taking it because the condition the range is exceeding because it should exactly match up to here after the whatever you put that only will be uh, accepted but in this case such a term itself is not there so which is something inclusive but not exclusive of the content where further gets changed so it is up to the correct value so any few character matches it will put for example math me m alone is enough up to this fine but if you try to concatenate it further it won't work so this is what the range the bound property what we have been using here so the bound in this case checks from letters <coughs> starting with but whatever combination further comes so in this case for Tamil 
from T A from T to Tamil, this particular value is fine. Mean T A T A M T A M I T A M I L it will work, but anything further you add. So this is for the bound and this is a regular expression the u f f thing i have some example on regular expression separately that part i'll explain which is nothing but a kind of placeholder it adds whatever combination of word comes it will accept and the last one is for ordering purpose previous is a descending order um, next is ascending order if you want a given order so now added a search functionality to our records so user can simply search the content in fact I can even give a I can remove the case sensitivity stuff but uh, that part I'll use it in the regular expression regular expression kind of a, a match uh, based on your condition found it will work for example user uh, has to enter an email field mean if the word contains a letter call at the rate, it is it will be considered as an email. If the particular entered word does not contain at the rate symbol, it won't be validated. So, a regular expression particularly useful for validating and uh, make a specific rule to your input text field. So that we will see it maybe tomorrow. Or tomorrow because it's a very small, but of course it's going to continue in Android also. There is going to be a regular expression, same pattern. So we will see that also if required. But as of now simply added a search functionality to our index db. Remember most of the part it's still in evolving standard. Uh, there are a couple of options uh, index db still doesn't have. Uh, so not to be overloading this particular database too much we have certain uh, limitation as well. So those limitations such as uh, uh, doing a uh, specific uh, indexing or particular for example this indexing right now when I give a previous to a index called stu sub so after I remove all the word if you notice it is indexed it has indexed based on the item subject not based on the item ID so because the filter what I attached simply do the index based on the subject whereas get all name will index based on item id 54321 so there are certain constraints are there but still uh, we can add some more hooks to have this particular part of the issue go away but i don't want to call, make it much complex as of now uh, so make sure you add the search uh, functionality also to your uh, app whatever you are working on i'll parallelly start my migration project but I am not going to explain it in detail because which is already there uh, once I am done probably I will upload the source code so that you can take it for a reference for having the previous one migrated to index db fully but before that make sure you get a kind of uh, flexibility in putting the index db and doing various transactions with that also we saw one simple example on media type which does the job quite easily for mobile pages so you can also have that part also included in your exercise okay post the source codes